If you have a passion for music as I do, you'll find what I'm about to tell you very exciting because you can now make a lot of money from something you love, music. My name is Dennis Sinnott, having been in the music industry for a number of years and from being head of copyright of the largest music publishing group in the world, I now help professionally ambitious people like you build and own international music catalogues up to empire level and make big money doing it using a technique I call global power licensing. I find a lot of people today, in particular newbies, are excited at the prospect of building medium to large size music companies yet clueless when it comes to the critical areas of commercial licensing, the part that actually generates the real money in this industry. How does it work? In a word, licensing. If you know how to license, there's nothing you can't achieve in this industry. Knowing how to license globally is key to making money, not just in publishing, but in the music industry generally. As a licensing specialist, I've enjoyed much success, even with small catalogues, mainly by embracing the global marketplace. Indeed, when I was 19 years old, one song alone paid everyone's salary at a music publishing company I worked at for several years through hundreds of synchronizations in features, commercials, musicals, and orchestrations. This is music publishing at its finest. This is the knowledge that has skyrocketed music catalogues from millions to hundreds of millions of dollars in value. If you want to make real money in this industry, this is how it's done. Yet few people really understand how powerful music publishing is and how it works and understanding all the rights they are given, much less putting those rights to work. Many think throwing money behind a song and streaming it out is the answer. That isn't the way publishing works. Not really. For example, are you aware that one of the many ways of building your music empire is by acquiring some of the greatest songs ever written for pennies? The same songs that were valued at millions of dollars are sitting right on your doorstep for pennies, now in public domain. I'm talking over 100,000 songs. So in addition to your new catalogues of young talented artists and songwriters, you can have catalogues of the old greats, big catalogues. Think about it, the only thing you need to learn is how to license. I'll show you, it's what I do. I'm sure you'll agree if you're able to go back a few years like me, music publishing and record labels have always been hugely lucrative, yet costly to sell up and operate, at least in the first few months of operation. A few short years back, setting up a music publishing company was not a cheap option. First, you would have needed an office, secretary, A&R pluggers, promoters, copyright and royalty staff, and enough money to keep them all paid while waiting for the royalties to come in. Now, digital has arrived and has annihilated overheads so that you can be up and running your music catalogue around the world from your laptop and internet connection. You see, in addition to having digital, you still have all the rights afforded you as a music publisher. I would say the bulk of the music world hasn't gotten on to this, but they will in the next two to three years. In my estimation, music publishing is the greatest and most lucrative way for you and your songwriters, arrangers and adapters to make money in the music industry. If you have a passion for music and really want to build your own music empire, give me a call before the rest of the industry wakes up. From me, Dennis Sinnott, have a great week.